Hello again, fellow Beach Bum Traders. Thank you for joining us for our initial due diligence on PayPal, ticker symbol PYPL, PayPal, PayPal Holdings, Inc. And we're going to do, again, our initial standard due diligence to decide is PayPal a stock to buy now. And this video is in direct response to a request from one of our Discord members who posted on June 1st asking if PayPal is a buy. And so uh, to answer that question, we're going to do our due diligence on PayPal and decide and hopefully help answer that question, is PayPal a stock to buy now? So I'm on the home page of uh, PayPal. Uh, you can find the description or the link to uh, PayPal's homepage in the description box below. We'll do a quick review, just kind of see what they're saying on their homepage. We'll look at their profile real briefly. Uh, who is PayPal? If you're not aware, uh, it's a financial credit services company, operated technology and online digital payments uh, platform for merchants and consumers. Uh, we have got a number of products. Uh, they've acquired some like Venmo. They've got Braintree, Zettle, Zoom with an X, HyperWallet, Honey, Payday, etc. Uh, allows consumers to send and receive payments in approximately 200 markets in approximately 100 currencies. Uh, withdraw funds to your bank account in 56 currencies and hold balances in your PayPal account 25 currencies. And it was founded in 98, and it's headquartered in San Jose. And uh, we have extensive experience, long experience with PayPal, and I'll share with you uh, at the end of the video our experience with PayPal for decades. And uh, I remember when PayPal first came out, and again, we've had extensive experience both uh, uh, selling products and services using PayPal, integrating PayPal and websites, etc. So again, uh, hang on for the end of the video. I'll tell you uh, short stories about our experience. And also then, after we do our due diligence, we'll draw our conclusions about whether PayPal is a stock to buy now and or is it a, a good long-term uh, investment and what type of uh, trade is, is PayPal currently good for. So again, uh, we'll look at their home page very briefly. You can see they've got, uh, you know, sign up bonus. You can see personal business developers. So if we look at their personal, they've got shopping. Uh, they've got a rewards program. You can see they're also now supporting some cryptocurrency. They've got credit cards. They've got a virtual credit card. I know that you can set up and use that credit card number to make payments with. You can send money, request money, donate money. Uh, you can get uh, have a direct deposit directly into your PayPal account. You've got savings plans. And again, now they're supporting uh, buying and selling via crypto. For businesses, again, they've got payments. Uh, they've got an enterprise platform, fraud protection, uh, global payment processing. So it is a global company. We'll talk about that. Uh, they've got fundraising. And then uh, it does have an API, etc. There's some development capabilities. So again, uh, we see they're offering a reward if you sign up right now to attract people. Uh, they've also recently gotten into this buy now, pay later, uh, BNPL uh, areas, compete with companies like Affirm, etc. Uh, and again, it's that's a competitive thing. And also with crypto, so you can see they're they're competing with a num number of other uh, businesses in in these categories: buy now, pay later, crypto, etc. Touch free payments, so scan, so you know, uh, like Apple, etc. And then they've got invoicing, etc. So you can invoice your clients, set up a, a template, etc. With that, and they've also got donations. And then you see they're uh, partnered with a number of large brands. So again, they've been around a long time. And then you can see they claim to have uh, about 400 million users. So again, it's been around a, a long time, a large number of users are getting into these new areas. So uh, in terms of their stock and the company uh, health, etc., 
Uh, we'll do our due diligence. We'll see is PayPal a stock to buy now? Is it something good for a long-term investment? Uh, what types of trades are uh, good for PayPal right now to try to, again, answer our members' question and help uh, everyone uh, see if PayPal is a good stock to trade. So let's get started. The content of this video was produced by Beach Bum Trading. We hope you will choose to also join us in the Beach Bum Trading community and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Visit us at our homepage at beachbumtrading.com, the bum without the U. Similarly on Twitter, Beach Bum Trading, bum without the U. On Facebook and in our Beach Bum Trading Facebook group. Please follow us on Pinterest and on Instagram. All of the links to our social media sites will be included in the description box below. And we hope you will choose to subscribe to our Beach Bum Trading YouTube channel and follow us on social media. Thank you. Okay, let's uh, do our due diligence of PayPal Holdings Incorporated, ticker symbol PYPL in Chartmill. I'll leave the direct link to this profile in Chartmill in the description box below. Uh, we can see the overall ratings right now as of June 3rd. The technical uh, analysis rating is uh, you know zero, very poor. Setup is very poor, one and a half. Uh, we can see the fundamental analysis is about two and a half, so you know, average mid valuations poor, one and a half, profitability mid, uh, three out of five, growth three out of five, health two out of five. So overall, the general ratings are, are generally poor. Another thing I wanted to point out here is just some of the recent news. There's a talk of a um, customer account freeze lawsuit sent to arbitration. Uh, we'll talk about that at the end, about some of our experience with uh, PayPal and uh, their propensity to freeze accounts, etc., and the perspective view on that So, from their customer standpoint. So, again, we can see the profile, their digital payments, uh, headquartered in California. Uh, They've been around for a while. Uh, 2015, they IPO'd as a separate company. They've got uh, PayPal, Braintree, Venmo, Zettle, Zoom with an X, HyperWallet, Honey, uh, etc. Okay, if we look at the stock chart in Chartmill, Look at the daily chart. We can see it's below its moving averages. So it's uh, significantly below its 200-day moving average, and it's uh, testing but bouncing below its 50-day moving average. So if we zoom out a little bit, See again the weekly, it's been in steady decline. Looks like it's approaching a support line here at the 80 level. We zoom out once more. So again, we, we can see it's been in a steep decline for some period of time. Uh, it may have achieved a support down here. Looks like a, you know, a hammer, a doji into a hammer candle on the monthly chart. Uh, it looks like it's got the range uh, from 90 or so up to 300, so uh, two, 220 uh, reward possibility, um, and the the low, long-term low, and again, we'll look at that probably in more, uh, more detail in um, FinBiz, where we can uh, see those numbers a little better. Okay, if we look at the technical analysis for PayPal in Chartmill, we can see it currently has a technical rating of zero, so it's very poor, very poor setup. Uh, you can see it's uh, had a wide range in the past months, got good volume, but the long-term trend is negative. We can see the setup rating is three, so it's poor, it's bad. 
Uh, we see some support resistance levels. So there's a support zone from 78.65 to 78.83. 78, Long-term trends negative, poor performance, lesser performing in IT services, and trading near the low end of its range. So again, from a technical analysis standpoint, it's uh, generally poor. Uh, we can see uh, it's uh, trading okay relative to its very short-term trends, the five-day, 10-day moving averages, uh, Relative strengths, generally poor. And it's got a pretty wide uh, true range, so it's got quite a bit of range. Okay, we look at the fundamental rating for fundamental analysis for PayPal in chart mill. You see it's got an overall fundamental rating of 5 out of 10. Uh, so it's it's just average, mid-tier. Profitability is a little above average. Has a good return on assets. Has a decent profit margin, which is positive. But its return on uh, equity is, is not great. Valuation, it's got a low peg ratio, which is a positive. So it's saying it's not really over, overly expensive. Uh, but it's still getting a valuation rating of only three. So it's below its uh, average industry price to book. So from that standpoint, it's more expensive than its peers. All the other uh, ratings are, are just average. Growth wise, it's getting a six out of 10. So it's got a little bit of a positive growth. The uh, revenue uh, curve looks looks positive, so it looks like it's uh, growing revenue. Uh, the EPS, it looks like there's a little bit of a dip in 2022, 2023, uh, but then it uh, reaccelerates into a nice uh, growth curve. So it looks like a pretty good growth stock. Earnings per share is good. Uh, got good growth, good revenue growth. But its EPS growth uh, compare in the last years uh, to the upcoming years is a negative. So we can see past performance. So recently it's had some issues. Health rating 4 out of 10. Uh, Altman Z is just kind of average. So not really a solvency issue. Uh, its current ratio is not great. Uh, is less able to pay its short-term obligations than its peers, so that's a little bit of a negative. So it has some um, cash flow issues, So, and it does not currently pay a dividend. So if we look at the analyst ratings in chart mill, we can see it's got a 78% consensus buy, so the analysts like it. We see some strong buys, 12 strong buys, 31 buys, 15 holds, and only a few sells. So again, the analysts like uh, PayPal. We can see the mean uh, price targets, 126, so significantly above, 43% above its current. It's got a 200% high. Uh, only 6% low, so again, from an analyst standpoint, it's uh, very bullish, uh, good uh, risk to reward from an analyst estimate standpoint. Uh, we can see its target is positive, it's got a lot of uh, coverage. Uh, we can see the ratings have not uh, changed a whole lot, uh, so we can see some of the recent changes. So it's, it's active, uh, it's large analyst, and, and also very active, which is is positive, so uh, that can you know give you some catalysts if some of these analysts come out with uh, you know buy ratings or reiterate their buy ratings. And again, then we can see more detail of the EPS estimates and the uh, on a quarterly basis, etc. In that tab in chart mill, also more detail about the revenue estimates. So if you want to dig into more detail there, uh, you can do so. Also, the financials, and we'll look at these also in uh, Weeble in uh, graphical format. So hope that all helps. 
Okay, let's do our due diligence for PayPal in Finviz. I will put the direct link to this profile for PayPal in Finviz in the description box below. We can see the daily chart. Uh, we see these converging trend lines. It kind of broke out of that trend. It's still below its moving averages, uh, but it, it from the daily chart, it looks like it has broken out of that trend and, and kind of gone flat. Let's zoom out to the weekly. So again, we see it bounced. Uh, looks like it, it's possibly established a bottoms turning up. So, and again, it's relatively in the same line as the previous bottom. We see so that bottom is around 71, 72. We can see a top maybe in the 300 range. So again, it's got a, a 230, 220 uh, upside. We zoom out further. So again, we see this dramatic decline that it's been in since uh, mid-2021. We see it peaked uh, sometime in July of 21, and it did a little top, and then it's been in a very severe decline since then. We can see again that 80-ish that, uh, range is a bottom, a pretty stable bottom. Downside wise, uh, see a downside of maybe 40, and we had a good upside. So the risk rewards positive here on the monthly. It looks like it dogeed and then hammered, so it may be in the process of a turnaround. Uh, so we'll have to look and see what might catalyze that turnaround versus a further breakdown. So if we look at their metrics, they have uh, 3.5 billion in income, that's positive. Uh, 96 mil billion market cap, so it does not pay a dividend. Cash per share is, is low, but that is positive. It is optionable. Uh, One point, almost 1.2 billion in shares outstanding. Outstanding, so very high float, which means you know it's it's not going to move a whole lot. Uh, it would take a lot to move a whole lot. Not heavily shorted. Uh, some debt, but not real high. Uh, we see that ATR uh, a uh, average true range is about 4.6, so it you know it moves four dollars or so a day. Uh, if we scroll down, see recent news uh, it has been cut in half. Uh, why analysts see upside? So analysts are are bullish on it. Uh, PayPal low valuation, so they're saying you know it's it's relatively cheap. We look at their financials in Finviz. Uh, we can see total revenue uh, increased, which is a positive. See their earning per share uh, decrease slightly. So that's it's a little a little negative. So their uh, revenue is increasing slightly, but their earnings going down a little bit uh, from an annual standpoint. Well, we'll look look at the quarterly real quick. So again, revenue increased and then decreased again so this probably is is that peak uh, in between here we saw july ish of 21 again it peaked and then declined a little bit on uh, that uh, revenue decline might explain its decline same thing with its earnings you see a, a pretty steady decline so that's kind of negative so we'll uh, continue our due diligence and see if a uh, turnaround is is in the cards for paypal in the future Okay, let's continue our due diligence on PayPal, ticker symbol PYPL, in Seeking Alpha. Again, you should be able to find the direct link to this profile for PayPal and Seeking Alpha in the description box below. We'll quickly scroll down, look at some of the news. Uh, you can see slower growth, some reasons to buy, to sell. There's some buys, warns, okay, so a mixture of positive and negative. They just raised money, so they did it through a debt offering, so the risk of uh, a stock offering seems to be a, a little less.
So if we look at the rating summary in Seeking Alpha, you've got the author saying buy, Wall Street buy, quant hold. So that again shows us that the technical rating is not, not very good. We see very poor valuation, says it's expensive relative to its value right now. Uh, growth, they're giving them a C minus, but an A plus in profitability. So if we look at the revenue, annual revenue looks to be increasing. If we look at the quarterly revenue, pretty flat. So uh, this year doesn't look very, very positive, slight increase. Quarterly earnings looks to be declining and then uh, recovering somewhat. Annual earnings, again, it looks like uh, this year is uh, going to be a decline and then a bounce back in 23. Valuation, so the PE is, is relatively high but not excessive, 22, 23. Revenue growth, 12%. Profitability, gross margins very high. So again, that shows us the rating that a a plus uh, pro or yeah profitability rating was was positive. Uh, they do have quite a bit of debt, ten billion in debt on a ninety five uh, billion market cap. Trading volume very liquid. Uh, the ownership, we can see uh, very high institutional ownership, 74%. So again, it's going to be relatively stable. Uh, they're not going to sell off real quickly. And then the rest is retail public. So not a lot of insiders. So relative to peers, we see some peers that they're identifying. So Square, we'll talk about Square. Uh, Fiserv ADP, although I don't view those as really online e-commerce type uh, fintech stocks. Altman Z score for risk, uh, very positive, so no solvency risk, so they're discounting the debt, doesn't seem to be an issue. Not very uh, high short interest. Uh, beta is 1.4, so it does move with the market and a little bit faster than the market, so... And EPS is positive and then pretty good. Got plenty of cash, eight billion in cash. So again, the debt to equity is pretty high, fifty percent. That's that's pretty high. Uh, free cash flow is is nice and positive. So, so again, from a health and profitability standpoint, uh, it seems positive, but it seems like this year. Uh, they're going to have a little bit of a downturn uh, and then a bounce back going into the future. So we'll continue our due diligence from here. Okay, let's continue our due diligence on PayPal, ticker symbol PYPL in Weeble. I'm in the stock screen on the online browser version of Weeble. You can look up any stock by just entering the symbol in the search bar. You can see I brought this up. Here's the f five year chart of PayPal that we'll come back to in a second. Uh, but if you pop up the lower pane, it has uh, good information for doing due diligence. Again, we can see some news. Uh, so here's, here's a holding puts off sale after bids come in low. So that's interesting. That was uh, very recent coming in from Dow Jones. So again, you can look at the the news also there. We we'll look at the financials. We can see the income uh, it was declining. Seems to be projected to decline. So that's not very positive. Look at the balance sheet. Uh, again, the actuals uh, they have missed estimates. So that's that's negative, and it appears to be declining. Cash flow, they beat estimates slightly. Uh, we got a decline in Q1. So again, we can see uh, some reason for the recent decline uh, and a slight projection for up uh, in Q2. So 
No return on equity. Again, they missed estimates, so that's a little negative. Reasons for uh, the recent declines. Look at their income statement. Net income is decreasing. So that's, again, negative revenue. And they got this big bump in Q, uh, Q4 of 2021 and then a decline again. And similarly with operating income, although that was pretty flat and then declining. So again, all these are saying the, the short term uh, view is, is declining. Uh, balance sheet total assets is pretty flat. Liabilities pretty flat. Again, we see that big bump up in cash flow in uh, Q4 2021, then a, a drastic decline. Investing's been negative. And again, financing their uh, this is now negative, turn negative. So again, uh, reasons for the, the recent declines. So if we look at the analyst views from Webull, we see a buy rating uh, based on 53 analysts. We see uh, strong buys, 20%, 54% buy, some holds, and very few underperforms, no sells. So we see their current at 86.53, uh, high estimate at 255, and low at 82. So they're very close to their low analyst estimates and plenty of room uh, to the upside. So we can see support resistance from Weeble. Again, they're very close to support, but it was pinching. You know, it's a very tight wedge there. So. Uh, we're looking for, you know, potential breakout, breakdown. See short interest, not real high, declining. Institutional holdings. So some, some decrease. Mixture of orders. And they're in a number of ETFs. So again, uh, you know, a lot of holdings, a lot of institutional holdings, etc. Just general press releases, corporate actions. Here you would see dividends if they paid a dividend. It is optionable, so one op option if you were to want to hold PayPal for a long period of time, wait for a turnaround or recovery, uh, would be to sell covered calls against the position, so that, that is an option for PayPal. And then again, we can see the profile uh, also in um, Weeble for PayPal. So that gives us a, a view of uh, some of their financials, etc., the metrics, etc. Um, again, if we look at their chart, we can see they're they're very close. They they broke down below this level of support, this longer term level of support. Uh, we can see it looks like it bottomed recently. Again, this is a very long term chart. Uh, we see a longer term bottom in the 50 uh, area, 55 area. So. Uh, Long-term downside of maybe thirty dollars. Uh, we see upside of up to three ten or so. So, uh, if we say it's at ninety, we've got you know two twenty or so of upside. Uh, so the risk reward looks very attractive. If we go, come into a one-year chart, uh, again we can kind of see there's the recent earnings, four twenty-seven. So we see it bounced off that support at 71, uh, picked up a little bit, but it's uh, not real clear uh, as to whether it's going to recover and turn up. If we zoom in a little bit, we see it has bounced uh, better. Um, so again, the question is, you know, is this a bottom and an upturn, or is it going to roll over and break down through support and continue on its longer term downward trend? Uh, so again, uh, in the near term, uh, as we saw in chart mill, etc., uh, the technical setup is pretty poor. Um, so uh, it, may, it may not be a great time to jump in right now. 
Uh, we'll talk about in a second, you know, w w my personal views on the potential future. Uh, but again, the indications that we see um, is that the timing right now, as of early June, there's not a real positive setup. There's, there's not a great reason to jump in now. It would be nice to see, is it going to uh, turn up? Is it going to come back down to this bottom and uh, hold that support and turn back up again? That would give us more confidence that it's not going to break down. Um, or is it going to roll over and continue on its longer term downward trend? Uh, so again, the, the jury's still out from a technical analysis standpoint. Uh, so let's talk about, you know, what is the longer term uh, investment thesis on uh, PayPal uh, for a, a longer term investment hold uh, or a long term swing. Right now for Weeple's fourth birthday anniversary, they're offering six free stocks when you open and fund a new account. Typically they offer two or more free stocks. Uh, when you open and fund an account in Weeble, but again for their birthday, their fourth anniversary birthday, uh, Weeble's offering six free stocks when you open and fund an account. And you can see you get two free stocks valued up to $300 when you open the account, deposit any amount, and you get four free stocks each valued up to $3,000. So uh, now would be a great time to open your Weeble account if you're not already a Weeble user. Uh, Weeble is our primary trading platform that we do the majority of trading in our accounts. So again, great opportunity. Don't know how long this will last. Again, Weeble typically offers two or more free stocks but right now for their uh, fourth birthday uh, you can get six free stocks if you open and fund an account now with Weeble. So we hope that all helps. You'll find our affiliate link for Weeble in the description box below uh, at the top of our Beach Bum Trading YouTube page in the little link section also in the bottom of the about page of our YouTube channel and also in the trading platform section of our Beach Bum Trading Bum Without the U dot com uh, website. So we hope this all helps. Get your free, six free stocks now while you can for Weeble's fourth birthday. Okay, so we've done our initial due diligence on PayPal, ticker symbol PYPO. We've got a lot of input data. Uh, and so now let's try to answer the question of our member, our Discord member Spacula is PayPal a buy? So let me very briefly tell you some of our experience with PayPal, uh, the breadth of our experience. Uh, I, I remember when PayPal first came out in 1998. I've been doing uh, business on the internet since the, the 90s, um, and it was great. You know, now we, you could do online payments. Um, again, we've had decades of experience selling both products and services uh, using PayPal. Again, uh, PayPal has been great uh, with our parent company, the virtual consulting firm. Uh, we used to, we did business with consultants and uh, uh, clients from all over the world. And PayPal allowed us to send payments to our consultants in other countries, including Eastern Europe, etc., uh, where we used to have to go to Walmart and send Western Union payments to them, and they charge uh, enormous fees for sending those payments. So, so the recipient got less money, and it cost us money, and someone had to eat those additional fees. Uh, so PayPal was great early on. Um, and again, became very popular very quickly because it was an easy way to do online payments. Uh, we also integrated uh, PayPal as a, a service for the, the virtual consulting firm with clients' websites. It's easy to integrate. Uh, it's easy to put buttons, etc. So again, uh, back in the day, uh, PayPal was great and uh, was adopted very quickly across the internet for e-commerce. Um, so, so that was very positive. Um, another positive for their future is uh, some of these new areas that they're trying to go into in terms of uh, buy now, pay later, another opportunity. The question is, you know, how, how well are they going to compete versus a firm and others? You know, they're also getting into crypto. So again, the question is, is uh, how well are they going to do versus other 
ways that you can use uh, crypto. How easy is it to use? We have not used uh, PayPal to try to buy or sell crypto or hold crypto, so I do not have the the details on that. Uh, they do point out, you know, crypto is a ta taxable transaction, so that's an issue with uh, buying and selling things with uh, crypto in this type of thing. They have a touch-free payment system and donations, etc. So uh, they're trying to get into a lot of areas. Um, I know that Venmo app is uh, somewhat popular with uh, uh, millennials, etc. Um, so, so these are some of the positives for PayPal. Uh, some of the negatives for PayPal is we know from experience that they have, you know, although they support international payments, uh, there are issues. We, uh, I know a num number of. Uh, uh, business people that we work with around the world have issues with uh, using PayPal. They may start using PayPal and then uh, PayPal restricts or uh, puts a hold on their account or blocks payments through their account and they have to then go scramble look for another payment method. So uh, that that's a real issue, a real headwind is uh, the, uh, international clients in uh, countries like uh, India, Singapore, China, etc. Um, those are the growth areas. Uh, they pretty much, you know, maxed out their U.S.-based um, payment uh, area. So, you know, where are the growth opportunities? Well, it has to be in the same markets and the same uh, user base with these uh, buy now, pay later, crypto, etc. So, so the headwind is, you know, how, how are they going to grow uh, given that constraint? I can also tell you from experience that uh, your small, medium business owners uh, also have issues with PayPal as a number of them have had their accounts locked uh, because of some uh, questionable payments. I, I know internet marketers had issues back in the day. Uh, PayPal would lock their account, lock up their money, and then they'd have to fight with PayPal to get their account unlocked because of some uh, whatever PayPal is defined as a questionable transaction. Um, so again, th the sentiment with uh, the online uh, community with PayPal is not great. Uh, so I, I think uh, even using these areas like crypto, etc., they're going to run into some headwinds as to the trustworthiness uh, with the uh, small people that have experience with them in the past, international clients, uh, small to medium business owners, etc., uh, you're going to have a headwind in terms of trust issues. So um, that that's a major issue, I think, with PayPal in the long run. And again, their competitiveness. Um, again, if you listen, listen to our due diligence video on Square, which we would highly recommend, and I'll put the link to that due diligence video on Square or Block, what is now called Block, ticker symbol SQ, uh, again, I'll put the link to that due diligence video in the description box below and highly recommend you listen to that because it will tell you our experience recently with Square and how all of the vendors that we have seen for the past several years um, are using Square. So again, I think uh, uh, as a longer term view, I, th I think Square has, has a, a brighter future. However, Square has some operational and profitability issues that they need to resolve. Whereas PayPal is a highly profitable company, um, uh, they're just a little expensive at this time. So to uh, give a short answer to uh, our, our members' question is uh, if we look at, you know, the again, the chart of, of uh, PayPal and also that we talked about the the valuation is right now it's a little expensive it's been in this steep downtrend it's a fintech company we just talked about some of the headwinds to it um, so essentially i would say wait and see uh, there's also a lot of downward pressure right now in the markets relative to tech stocks uh, especially highly valued tech stocks um, so again, I, I would say, you know, a wait and see uh, approach. We can put you can put it on your shopping list given market conditions. If market conditions improve somewhat, uh, particularly the view for fintech uh, companies, since again, PayPal does not uh, offer a dividend. So there's really no compelling reason to jump into them. You could offer or uh, 
sell covered calls against it to generate income. Uh, but again, I think uh, putting it in your shopping list and see how things play out, both in the markets, the sentiment towards fintech stocks, PayPal performance. Uh, they do have earnings coming out on July 27th. So I would highly recommend that uh, you pay attention to the how, how do they do on earnings uh, and what kind of reaction does the market give to their earnings. Um, and again, they're below all their moving averages, so and they're bouncing off uh, the moving averages as a resistance point and then tending to trail down. So uh, the tendency right now is down. So again, from a short-term swing or a short-term investment standpoint, uh, I, I would say, you know, wait and see approach would be best. Uh, it's not a buy now. Uh, again, it's a wait and see. If you are holding it, uh, then it would be a hold. There's no compelling reason to sell right now um, and wait for earnings. Um, longer term, again, it's a wait and see. Is it going to be a good long term uh, investment? You know, how well do they do in these areas? How profitable can they be in buy now, pay later? How do they do against their competitors? Uh, do they get uh, traction in the crypto area? And then how are they going to do with international growth? Are they peaking out and pretty much uh, maxing out um, in their existing market? So, again, our, our conclusion at this time is, you know, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it. We have it in our database to watch, uh, etc. We'll see if the uh, valuation becomes more attractive, uh, how the performance is. And we'll keep it in our, our shopping list to uh, keep an eye on. Uh, but again, there's no compelling reason to buy it right now. So we hope this all helps. Please let us know in the comments below, in our Discord, in our social media sites. Uh, what do you think of all this? What do you think of PayPal? Do you have any additional data uh, that you would uh, think would be a pro or a con for buying PayPal right now or investing in it in the future? Do you have any experience with their buy now, pay later or their crypto uh, functions that we can factor into this? And if so, we can always do an update. Um, and additional information. So please let us know what you think of all this, how we can improve, how we can help you be more successful in your trading career, and let us know. Thank you for watching our video to the end, and good luck, and have a great day. The content of this video was produced by Beach Bum Trading. We hope you will choose to also join us in the Beach Bum Trading community and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Visit us at our homepage at beachbumtrading.com, the bum without the U. Similarly on Twitter, Beach Bum Trading, bum without the U. On Facebook and in our Beach Bum Trading Facebook group. Please follow us on Pinterest and on Instagram. All of the links to our social media sites will be included in the description box below. And we hope you will choose to subscribe to our Beach Bum Trading YouTube channel and follow us on social media. Thank you. We also cordially want to invite you to our new Beach Bum Trading Community Discord server. Where we can have discussions on all topics related to trading, success in trading, investing, etc. You can see uh, alerts when we make trades, changes to our watch list, etc. So again, please join us in the new Beach Bump Trading Community Discord server. You should be able to find a link in the description box below. You can also find a link in the social media category on our webpage, beachbumptrading.com, without the bum without the U and also in the link section on the about page of our YouTube channel, etc. So again, we look forward to seeing you in the Beach Bump Trading Community Discord server soon. Wave and say hello. If you like this video, we hope you will choose to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the box in the upper left hand corner. You can watch another video like this by clicking on the box in the lower right hand corner. And we have a whole playlist of videos like this that you can access via the box in the upper right hand corner. Our latest video is available 
in the box in the lower left hand corner. We hope you like this and have a great day.